If there's one thing I'd love to see more of, it's spin-off games. Titles that take an established property and approach them from a completely new direction, usually by switching genres or focusing on new characters. But it's not enough to just make a game in a new genre and slap a coat of paint on it to make it look and sound like the core franchise. You need to bring some gameplay flavor from that core franchise as well, which is precisely where Minecraft Dungeons falls short. At first glance, Minecraft Dungeons looks like a pretty basic isometric dungeon crawler because that's exactly what it is. Players are tasked with exploring a handful of procedurally generated levels while dealing with monsters and traps and looting treasure along the way. As far as the moment to moment gameplay goes, the game flows well enough, but there's nothing overly engaging about it. Moving around and hitting monsters with your weapons lacks any significant weight, and although ragdolling enemies can make the combat feel satisfying for a little while, it rarely evolves beyond holding the attack button so your character can cycle through their very limited combos. That's not to say that you can't spice things up with different weapons or supplemental artifacts, but throughout my time with the game I was constantly trying new gear and none of it really blew me away. Most weapons have some unique variation on a 3 hit combo string which tend to get old really quickly, while the majority of artifacts I managed to loot provided simple buffs to movement speed or defense. Near Minecraft Dungeon's end I started picking up magical weapons that fed off of enemy souls and those were pretty cool, like the magic death beam for instance, but they came into play so late in the game that I'd long since lost interest in the loot cycle. With that said, the way Minecraft Dungeons deals with loot and leveling up is by far its most interesting element, though that may not be saying much. When you level up, you earn an enchantment, which can then be spent on improving your current gear. These improvements can range from adding elemental damage to attacks to increasing the amount of currency that enemies drop, and they each have three levels of upgrades that progressively cost more and more enchantments. Now, in most loot-based games, I would question the design behind improving your gear specifically since you're encouraged to switch up your build as soon as you get better gear, but Minecraft Dungeons has clearly thought ahead on this. Each time you salvage a piece of gear, you're given a small amount of currency, and if that gear has been improved, you're essentially refunded any of your upgrade points. This means you're free to experiment with any and all gear and upgrades, which is great, but it does mean that your character improvement is tied to your gear 100%. There are no skill trees or classes, so if you want a better moveset or better enchantments, you better start praying to RNG Jesus. Now, if you want better odds on snagging cooler loot, Minecraft Dungeons does allow you to set the difficulty of each dungeon as you enter it, and in theory, I think you're supposed to be rewarded with cooler stuff, but I never found that to be the case. Thankfully, the game isn't particularly hard on your initial playthrough, even when you bump it up to the max difficulty. You can stunlock the majority of enemies, and the ones that you can't are usually slow enough to be taken out with your ranged options. Hell, even if the game decides to overwhelm you with sheer numbers, your healing options have a cooldown, so as long as you can keep kiting threats around an area, you're pretty safe. All in all, as a straight-up Diablo clone, Minecraft Dungeons is pretty bland. It's not impossible to have fun with, but I found its combat and leveling systems were far too basic to keep me hooked for longer than an hour at most. In a perfect world, this is where I'd say that the game's simple, functional dungeon crawling elements were supplemented with crafting or terrain deformation elements like you might find in the core Minecraft experience. But this isn't a perfect world, and Minecraft Dungeons is not a great spin-off. Honestly, the only things Minecraft about Minecraft Dungeons are the title and the game's aesthetic, which is a shame because the game very clearly feels like it's missing something. But I can hardly review the game I wish I was playing and instead have to settle for this. To the game's credit, it does replicate the look and sound of the traditional Minecraft experience fairly well, just from a new perspective. The low-detail, blocky graphics look as distinct as they ever have previously, and honestly, the game does feature some decent lighting which really brings certain areas to life. With that said, I do find myself wishing that more of Minecraft's UI elements had made the jump to Minecraft Dungeons as well, beyond the visual style itself. While the game's heads-up display is functional enough, I found the health bar rather vague and difficult to read at times. It's unclear on how much health you have at max, or how much damage standard enemy attacks do, all while Minecraft proper has a perfectly readable health system in the form of heart icons that would do perfectly fine here. But that's just me nitpicking. Overall, the game looks fine, great even, so long as you're into the Minecraft style. Likewise, if you're a fan of Minecraft's music, then Minecraft Dungeons will likely be right up your alley. It's certainly more active than the former's laid-back, placid ambiance, but there's a similar simplicity to the audio offerings here, which is nice. This simplicity is extended to Minecraft Dungeons' story as well, though whether that's a good thing or not is up for debate. I'm not particularly well versed in the deep lore of the Minecraft franchise, but what Dungeons brings to the table hasn't exactly provoked me to go and learn more about it for myself, you know? The game follows the rise of an evil being known as the Arch Illager, who comes into possession of an item called the Orb of Dominance before using it to enslave and subjugate the world of Minecraft. Players and their friends take the role of one or more assorted heroes who must simply fight through the Arch Illager's armies and end their reign of terror. All in all, it's a painfully generic story and there aren't really any characters to speak of beyond the antagonist. 
but it serves its purpose as a reason for the players to go out and adventure, I guess. Now, I may not be a fan of this lackluster attempt at storytelling, but what I really dislike about the game is the fact that it expects you to play through more than once to get to its most interesting content. No joke, Minecraft Dungeons unlocks the adventurer difficulty once you've beaten the final boss, promising new enemies and loot opportunities to keep players enticed, but in my opinion, it's too little too late. If you just play the core levels, then Minecraft Dungeons offers somewhere between 3 and 5 hours worth of content, and I think it's monumentally stupid for the game to lock its best stuff behind that runtime before asking you to replay its procedurally generated levels again. It feels like arbitrary padding, and ultimately just made my initial playthrough of the game's levels feel unrewarding and unsatisfying. If, unlike me, you're not bored of what Minecraft Dungeons has to offer by the time Adventurer Mode unlocks, then there are co-op options, both local and online, to extend its replay value. But I personally found that the game barely had enough depth to keep me interested during my first playthrough, and the addition of extra players can only do so much to make it more enjoyable, especially since the game doesn't do anything to scale low-level players up to match their higher-level buddies. And finally, while I'm griping over multiplayer elements, I can't stand how the game doesn't pause while you're in the character menu, whether you're playing online or not. Even in solo play, being killed while you upgrade your gear is not a fun time. With all that said, Minecraft Dungeons is bad. Were it a simple Diablo clone with a Minecraft coat of paint, Minecraft Dungeons would be inoffensive at best and kind of boring at worst, but the fact that the game expects you to play it all over again to get to the good content is kind of baffling. I have nothing against endgame content, but most games are mechanically or narratively satisfying enough to hook their players, which this game just isn't. Diehard Minecraft fans might get a kick out of seeing the series' style applied to a different type of game, and the simple nature of the core gameplay might appeal to kids, but frankly, I think kids can deal with at least some complexity and deserve better. Minecraft Dungeons is available on PS4, Nintendo Switch, PC, and Xbox One, and is available on Game Pass, though I wouldn't recommend wasting your time on it.